Good afternoon friends. Welcome back to our YouTube channel Coding Technologies. Today I am here to discuss about the Vipro coding questions that were asked recently that was held on 24-2-2022. If you observe the input format, in the first line the user needs to enter an integer which represents the number of flats. For example, let's take number of flats as 5. In the second line, the user needs to enter n separated values which represents area of each flat. For example, area of first flat is 3, second flat is 7, third flat is 10, fourth flat is 5, then fifth flat is 15. And odd line, the user needs to enter an integer which represents k value and here we have a condition called k value is less than n value. So, for example, I am giving k value is, I am giving k equal to 3. What is our task? What is the expected output from the above input? So, we need to find the kth largest value. Kth largest value means here I am giving k value is 3. So, we need to find odd largest value from the above list of arrays from the above list of array areas so from the above areas we need to find the kth largest value that is third largest value so first largest value is 15 the second largest value is 10 and finally the third the third largest value is 7 so the expected output is 7 here here we are giving some sample test cases, the input format, firstly the n value is 7, after that we are entering 7 values, that is 10, 5, 7, 88, 19, 45 and 56 and the k value is 3. So we need to find third largest value from the above areas. So the first largest value is 88, the second largest value is 56, 56 and the third largest value is 45. So, what is the expected output? The expected out output is 45 according to our logic. So, let's check the logic is correct or not with the actual output. So, the actual output is 45 and the expected output is also 45. So, our logic is correct. So, apply the same logic in coding. Before apply the same logic in coding, I just simply simply sort the array elements. So after sorting, the elements will be 5, 7, 10, 19, 45, 56, and 88. So it's very easy to find with the largest value after sorting than before sorting. So we just simply just simply find the kth largest value after sorting. That's why I sort the array elements. So apply the same logic in coding. I am using Java as my programming language. In Java, the first statement is we need to create class. class creating class name as Vipro. Next statement is public static void main of string args then we need to take n value that is which indicates number of flags if you want to take any input from the user either it is a string input or character input if you want to take any input we need scanner class by using scanner class only we need to take input from the user in java so scanner sc equal to new scanner of creating object to the scanner class new scanner of system dot in after that scanner class is available in util package so i am importing import util package java dot util dot star then in sc equal to new int of c equal to sorry int 
n equal to sc dot next int of next int will take integer input from the user after taking an n value that means number of flats we need to create an array which stores all the areas of each flat so int int area array equal to new int of of size n so after that we need to iterate each and every loop so int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus so in first iteration the i value is 0 so area of area of 0 that means the first area value is i mean the first flat area is sc dot next int it will take the first area value after that sorry this is not zero is i i value is automatically increased at every iteration it will for loop is runs until and unless the i value is less than n value for example if the n value is 5 the loop runs until the i value is 4 only if the i value is 5 the loop gets out of the loop after that we need to sort the array so arrays dot in arrays we are having a function called arrays dot sort of method it will sort the elements from small to big that is in ascending order arrays dot sort of name of the array we need to pass as an argument arrays dot sort of array after that the array will be in ascending order so we need to find the kth largest value so for that i just simply print system dot out dot print of n minus k n minus k how n minus k is working sorry system dot out dot print of area of area of n minus k how area of n minus k will be worked area is the array of n minus k is the index where for example n value is 7 let's take the same example just copy the same sample example control c paste it below the n value is 7 and the k value is 4 so 7 minus k value is 3 7 minus 3 so the index value is 4 array of 4 the array is in sorted order so we need to find the fourth value so array of 0 array of 1 array of 2 is 10 array of 3 is 19 and finally the array of 4 is third largest value so that is 45 in this way the system dot out dot print of area of n minus k is worked i hope all of you understand the program well just copy the code and paste it in id paste it in new file creating a new file paste it here save i save this as wipro dot java uh, wipro dot java file is already existed just i want to replace it and i am opening command prompt cmd cmd so the file is available in c drive in c drive the directory Python Madhu folder is there so change it I am going to change directory to Python Madhu then Java collections folder is there I am changing the Python Madhu folder to Java collections then Java file is available so Java C Java C is used for compiling the Java code Java C file name file name is wipro.java
so we are observing that we are getting an error variable k is not available so uh, this error is occurred why because i am not taking any k value so i just simply take k value int k equal to sc dot next int so after for taking k value just compile it once so compilation successful then run it once java file name file name is wipro so i'm going to give the same input 7 10 5 7 19 88 45 and 56 so what is the expected output the expected sorry the k value is 3 and what we are expecting the expected output is 45 and the executed output is also 45 i hope all of you understand the program well If you are having any doubts, please comment it below. I will try to clear your doubts. If you like the video, like. If you dislike the video, dislike. This will help you to improve my programming skills very very well. Thank you.